What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. The reason these female teachers are sleeping with their male students is primal lust. Primal lust. And let me shout out uh, this brother on uh, IG who tagged me in this post. Uh, Quiet Man VA. I hope I pronounced that correctly, brother. But he definitely practices body game, dude. Saw a clip on his uh, on his page that dude deadlifted 500 pounds. 500. Yeah, body game forever. But uh, anyway, he, he had commented on um, this uh, post. And some people might have seen it where this 26-year-old substitute teacher was making out and sending news to this young boy. Even though she was married to a guy. Who actually looked like he was practicing body game. <laughs> hey, you know, one thing about women when they lust, they can lust more than one man. <laughs> and plus, I don't see, I don't know the situation. Dude could have been like that, uh, the husband in uh, sex life. Because remember, body game is just a foundation, but you still got to have a lot more. I'm just looking around. Keeps my head on a swivel. But before I even get into that, right? Before I even get into that, right? There was a... You know, remember like this past Friday, I said, you know, I'm talking about, you know, that old man's strength. is still bench press, you know, 225. Actually, and I said I could just come in off the street and just throw up some weight. I actually did that. I, I came in. I don't, I don't really warm up anyway. I just jump right into it. And I did pyramid sets starting from 135, went up to 255. Now, I only got about four reps on 255, but still. I haven't lift, I haven't formally bench pressed since the summer. And I usually work with 50-pound uh, dumbbells and stuff, right? Usually, so that's only 100 pounds. But it builds a foundation. It was funny, man. I got clowned by one of my buddies in here, right? Because I said... Yeah, because I said, yeah, you know, throwing up 255 for the first time. But I don't really bench press because I ain't trying to get too big, right? I ain't trying to get too big because it's hard to find shirts. Because I ain't big enough for big and tall, believe it or not. But then bigger than average. It was like, ain't that, I went to a big and tall shop. All the shirts were too big. I was like, shit, you know? Still bigger than a lot of scrawny motherfuckers out here, though. But still, yeah. I said, yeah, I ain't trying to get too big. And he looked at me. He said, you know, that's like me saying, I can't find my wallet because I got too much money in it. <laughs> I was like, damn. Uh, you know, gave the fist bump. I was like, damn, bro, you got me. <laughs> hey, I know I seem serious a lot. Don't seem like I'm playing. But if you good with me, man, shoot, we can clown all day. If you good with me. If I don't know you like that, mm, that's not in your best interest. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyway, right, getting back to this thing. You know, it's primal lust. And, you know, some people get mad about it because I noticed on that uh, thread that uh, brother had uh, tagged me on, right? All these people saying everything and liking everybody else's comments. Only me and somebody else said it because he broke it down. It's just about that lust. She wanted, hey, she wanted something about that young boy. She wanted to fuck. It's that simple. And that's all it is out here. I'm going to tell you what, a lot of guys don't seem to understand that. They're looking at all this shit. The bottom line, does it get the woman wet? The first thing they look for is lust. That's why I promote body game, because that's the main thing. Because some dudes will say, well, yeah, it's just a face. You don't lust the man's face. How, if that's the case, I'm like, how come all these uh, dudes call themselves handsome but still having trouble with the woman? There's a lot of guys who would be considered handsome. Who are uh, in the nice guy category? Shoot. Shoot, that's your sex life. That's your sex life. Shoot, that pointed that out. She, her husband was considered handsome. Shit. But she just didn't lust him like that. Other women lusted him, and that's good. But she didn't lust him. Because, see, one thing about lust, it depends on the woman and what she specifically lusts. Like, some guys try to act like it's some, um, like, singular thing and they only gonna lust this type of man which is stupid because if you're dealing with the shadow world or you looking at who really getting uh sex out here it's a range 
And like I say, I always say it's like the general form. If you got a general V, you're good to go. If you got a general V, you good to go. And you generally, generally got a good strong, at least at a minimum, a strong body build. You gotta look like you can look like you got some force with it. Now that's the base. Now let me be clear. To really have sex appeal. You got to have a couple other things because, see, the body is just the base. You got to have some level of charisma, particularly sexual charisma. Because if you're kind of prudish or some shit like that, that's going to turn change. She might like your body, but she ain't going to be turned on. You got to have some wildness. You got to be able to bring that passion. You got to have something about your personality. You can bring that passion. That's all part of sexual charisma. And then the third part, which is the highest part, really, you just got to be masculine. Like these dudes out here ain't really masculine, you know? You be wondering why a woman get with some guy, and you know what, he might be kind of rough looking. He might be kind of rough. A lot of women like that because it's more masculine. I was talking with a, a walk buddy on a Friday about that because I had mentioned I was going walking, and I ain't going to tell y'all where I'm walking at. So I might be looking for me, but he used to be walking with her and stuff a certain time of day. We were talking about that. And she she one of those types. She don't like a guy in the mirror more than her. A lot of guy a lot of uh, guys give off that impression that that's what they're gonna do. That they gonna be in the mirror more than the woman. And that turns that turns off a lot of women. They want you to be a man. The more man like truly manly you are, you there. You there. And that starts out looking like a man. That's why you get some, like, guys who look like they actually work with their hands, throw some stuff out, got that roughness to them, got that roughneck build. Shout out uh, Cousin Tito for talking about it, you know. Blue collar, look like they can throw some stuff around. They don't really be complaining. Y'all notice construction worker types, those physical laborer types don't be bitching. They don't be saying shit. You notice that, right? It's all the intellectual type of guys be complaining. You might not come, you might not, you need to first physically look like a man. Physically look like a man. You don't have to be perfect like a bodybuilder or something. But see, that shit's primal. Look like you can just pick up some shit. Then have that charisma to connect. But it all starts with the physique. It starts with the physique. And I know people always try to come against that, but they don't know. They never experienced primal lust. And they, they conveniently uh, ignore, like, you know, these male exotic dancers or just working in a gym. Shit. Being in a gym. There's always that dude come in there throwing up the waist and the women just gradually gradu uh, gravitating towards him. Always. But that's that primal lust. And when you talk about these teachers and stuff getting with these young boys, that's lust. Hell. They could have been imprinted by somebody who looked like them. But that's lust. You got those young boys and stuff. In fact, shoot, yesterday, right? Yesterday, I was at a, I was at a, a phone store. I had to get a, uh, got a, I got another phone. This is the same phone, though. This is the same phone I'm always using, but I got another phone for other stuff. Business. See, I know some people think, oh, that's all I do all day is, uh, do these videos, but um, yeah, I know my shit go way beyond this, so I needed something, I needed another phone just for business, so okay, took my sons there, and they were sitting at a table in there while I was uh, being helped by someone, right, and they sitting there, chill. well, one of my sons was in his phone, so he was doing his thing, the other one was just sitting there just chilling, man, this, okay, my oldest son, right, 20 years old, right, oldest son is 20 years old, now, I know somebody say, well, let me just put it out there. Yeah, he's about 6'3 and stuff. Right? But that's about it. Yeah, this shit pretty... It, he don't got no swag. He'll tell you he's awkward. He, he, he probably nerdy and you know, all that. But he looks good to women, though. You know? Plus, he got that height. And some be looking down on him. I'll just When I say looking down, they, they staring at a certain part. <laughs> I've seen that. But this young lady, now young for me, but older to him, she was either late 20s, or early 30s, right? She was sitting at the next table. 
Why was this woman staring at his, like, just staring at his ass? Just staring. For a second, I was like, what the fuck? But then I said, oh, never mind. <laughs> it was like, it, it, they would have called the police if I had, like, followed my natural urge at first. But then I said, oh, oh, damn, yeah. Man, my youngest, I mean, not my, well, my youngest too. Well, I told you, he, he turned down some girl, wanted to go on a date with well, we we walking through the store. She called him up, want to hang out. I say, like, nah, I'm doing something else. <laughs> anyway, right? How old is he? He was. They were, she was just staring. I mean, not looking away either. And it was nothing over there for her to look at. Wasn't no phones behind him. Anything. She was just staring. And I was like, what the? Then I said, yeah. And he constantly be getting like older women checking him out now. He don't. He put on the first three things he stepped on. Me, me and him, that's a little bit of a struggle getting him to like really hook up his drip. He put on the first three things he stepped on. He's good for it, you know? Actually introverted, very introverted, really. Like very quiet. Women, older women be staring at him. Some of them try to holler at him. Like, while well, I'm right there. <laughs> like, shit. Oh, man. But all that shit is is lust. See, a lot of guys don't understand that shit. Yeah. Hell, I experienced that with some older women when I was a teenager still in high school. But we're not going to get anybody in trouble. I'll leave it at that. But, look, that's the thing, though. It's lust. Now, other people don't understand that. Now, if women talk about it, they be on some bullshit just telling you some shit. They know. They know. But guys be like, say, oh, the women got a problem over there. No, it's lust. Understand something when somebody, when a woman lusts a man. All shit go out the door. <laughs> when they aroused by a man, shit. I talked about that in sexual chemistry. No, well, sexual chemistry and uh, my first book, uh, Nice Guys and Plays. I talked about that there. When women lose sense, shit, they leave a good family for that guy if they lust him. And it's whatever they lust. Guys be thinking it's about some money or all that shit. Nah. What money does uh, some young guy have? Or some of these uh, dudes out here. Don't got no money. They just look good to the women. They getting her wet. See, when women get wet, understand something. They change. Their, their whole personality change. Male exotic dancers, see, just watch those women when they out there. They going crazy or all that. Especially the one and the ones who know it, the ones who... Uh, work on those private parties where the can there's no cameras. Shit, sometimes women be hooking up shit like that. Yeah, they be hooking up. I remember at this event down in uh, D.C. back in the '90s and stuff. Right, I was at a Congressional Black Caucus Legislative Weekend. You know, that's a big party thing. And these uh, model type well uh, women, they grabbed me and my buddy. We were there. They said, "Hey, y'all come up to the hotel uh, hotel room with us. It's a bunch of women, a few dudes." It was funny, all the dudes were kind of built the same. <laughs> I was like, mm. it was entertainment. So, you know, but that's how they do and shit. When it's lust, shit, all all signs of everything go out the door. That's part of the shadow world. So they can be free. They can act on their lust. But see, a lot of guys don't understand. Well, one, a lot of guys haven't experienced that. And they trying to figure out how come they ain't getting a woman. You got to turn them on. Even just a little bit, if you really want a woman, you got to turn her on just a little bit because okay like you got a lot of guys called so-called nice guys or good men and you know they do everything and they got, they can have everything going on they can have money even uh some uh status right but they're not turning the woman on women will say no if you listen to women talk they'll say they ain't feel anything with the man they ain't feel any chemistry and they can like you they could actually like you as a person. They can be cool, talk. In fact, the woman might, you know, a lot of, I've heard a lot of women, they told me, they wish they could, like, feel something for some guys because the guys are so good. They wish they could feel something, right? But they don't. Shoot. It's like women try to say, oh, yeah, men are led by their dicks. Yeah, that's projecting. <laughs> that's deflection. They led by their vaginas. And if you pay attention to, like, who they cheating with, who they going for, and regardless of the guy's age, you know,
don't got nothing to do with any sense or anything. Logic goes out the door. Shoot, when women, you ever see women when they just feel, when they going crazy over a guy? You ever just, seriously, sit back and watch him. Hell. Sit back and watch him. Shit, go to a male exotic dancing club. You don't even have to go, you don't even have to go inside. Just you sit in your car and just sit back and watch them as they come out. In fact, you forgot some clubs out there. Shoot, it'll be, they'll have like the women dance, not the women, rather, the men dance and get the women all hot and everything and then let the men in and the women be nice and hot, ready to go. That's how that shit works. That's how that shit fucking works. But it's that lust. And see, a lot of guys don't want to deal with that shit. And I'm going to keep talking about it because if guys want to complain about women doing this and that, you know what? Hold on. That trash truck did him shit. I don't even feel like trying to like go around that shit. I let him, I let him sit there. Anyway, yeah, but you pay attention to how women behave when they when they really lust a man. Shoot, you see another side of them. But hold on a second, you know, I gotta, I gotta clean my cloud. Oh, man, hold on. Wait a minute. Ah, see all this? This is my egg. Hey, this is my dry cleaning stuff. Hey, like I talk about presentation, I would say probably about the majority of the clothes I got to wear out or I'm wearing on the videos and stuff, couch videos, I dry clean those joints. Dry clean your shit. Make sure your shit's straight and keep an iron anyway. Anyway, um, I'll be back in a second. All right, y'all. Here to just put my dry cleaning in. Oh, man. Um, most of my winter stuff get that clean put it in I got like a little uh, one of those portable closets and stuff in my garage alright and you know one of the things with clothes man you do want to keep them in good shape because even if you even practicing body game you still gotta look your style has to look good your presentation your clothing you know, keep those joints clean, keep those shoes shine. If you're wearing slacks, keep them good. You know, you know, my youngest son, he knew that from birth. When he came home, he didn't, you know, he didn't come home in diapers. He came home in slacks and a pair of gators. <laughs> yeah, the oldest one, though. <laughs> He's still getting women, older women. But yeah, that, that primal lust thing, man. People, uh, look, that's the key. Like, people know I talk about Mr. Goodbar, right? Those are the guys that women throw themselves at. Even the very attractive women. See, guys thinking his money, status, and even some mouthpiece, all of that shit's secondary. They need to lust you. Now, you can still, let me be clear, though. It's not over. You know what I mean? You can still, you know, you get to know the woman. you in a social environment where you can, like, talk to her. She get to know you. She started liking you and everything. And, you know, that can, that can have an effect on her vagina. You know, she get to know you. She get comfortable. And then if you got some sexual skill and you can give her the impression through your words and actions that you might be good in bed, you know, can actually bring her some satisfaction. Oh, yeah, you can do that. How many guys are like that? They don't have the experience. You know? That's why you will get some guys, you know, they might not get the woman on a pure lust, but they know they know how to escalate it. They know how to make love to the woman. You know? They got the skills with that. They got the skills with that, but everybody don't. And, yeah, because that's just a reality. But, you know, and also, too, because I know it's going to come in a few seconds, but also, too, you know, the woman might deal with, uh, you know, a guy for, you know, they in the same social group, maybe the same church, and she feel like she got to be married. See, women actually settle for the guys with money if, it's, if that's the main thing he's presenting, and they need to survive. They settle. They settle. 
I know some guys want to thank, uh, and uh, let me, uh, here's something for the guys who want to thank. Oh, yeah, it's just money, it's just money. Um, how's that working for you? No guys ever say, how's it working for them personally? They'll say, is that working for you? That's all I'm saying. And even then, yeah, I know it's coming. Double back home. Hey, Joe Roughneck, here it come. Yeah, double back home when you hear that noise in your bedroom. <laughs> On your bed that squeaking. That, hey, that dude that she actually lusts is tearing her up. And you know what? He don't even have to say, my bad. He'll just keep going. <laughs> She'll be the one. She can't even talk because, you know, if you're really doing a woman well, she can't talk. <laughs> if she can have a coherent conversation, you got some more fucking to do. Hey, I know some people going to get upset. <laughs> they say, oh, Rob, you've been cursing and everything. Yeah, and I could also hit y'all with some deep shit. <laughs> I'm complex like that. Don't hate me because I'm complex. I'm multifaceted. <laughs> but, yeah, it's that primal lust. And, see, people got to really start dealing with it, just dealing with it, understanding it. That's why I say body game. I mean, look, yesterday if my son... If all he had to do was say hi to that woman. Because that's, uh, you know, I was about to get into, like, uh, the whole Mr. Good Bar thing. That's really their game. They don't really chase women. They pick up on the women lusting for them. See, when a woman start, when a woman lusts for a man, like, she truly lusts, truly lusts for a man, oh, shoot, she she will hand him the poop. She will, she will go out her way to talk to him. She'll be rub bumping up against him, slowing down. Shit, choosing signals? <laughs> Please, she gonna, she gonna put it in his face. She gonna put it in his face. But see, what the good boy learned to do, he learned to read it and then decide what he wanna do. Or he'll make her chase him. He'll make her chase him. You know? Because women choose. And they choose through with their vaginas. If they chose with just pure logic, well, those are usually women looking to use you for something. But if they did, it'd be a whole different situation out here. Like I said, women have told me. They've told me directly they wish they could uh, get with some guy. They wish they could fall in love with some guy. They'd be like, damn, that's a good-ass guy. But it's that guy they lusting. It's that guy that they lusting. It's primal lust. And the thing is, let's be real. Men the same way. We just acknowledge it. But see, a lot of men... And I've, I've said this several times, I'm going to keep saying, a lot of men really don't understand a woman's sexual nature. Their sexual, because think about something, a woman's sexual nature is actually more so than a man's. Seriously. You got women out here, shoot, they can have sex with two men a day. I've said, I haven't talked about this in a long time, but I'll never forget that Facebook post. I was uh, friends with some woman very open sexually, and she asked the other women, how many of y'all have had sex with two men in a day? And I, I stopped counting at a hundred different, a hundred separate responses. I just stopped counting. I, I, I said, you know what? I can't keep counting because I keep, I kept losing count. It was like, damn, another one. Then another one to add to it. It was like, shit, shit. Women can take D all day. <laughs> shit, ain't no stopping for them. <laughs> shit. Oh no, this guy's always just dead. You see, we most guys, most guys can, they can bust one good one. You know, a guy more advanced, he can be multi-orgasmic, know how to truly hold his seed and have sex with multiple women in a day. But that's only a small percentage. Only a small percentage. But shit, women can have sex all day. In fact, you get a lot of women who cheating on their main mate. They'll go out to that, shit, the morning, shit, they'll go out to that motel somewhere. Go out to some motel on the outskirts of town or shoot some low rent apartment somewhere have sex on his uh, air mattress dirty air mattress at that you know they'd be so blissed out they conveniently ignore the mouse like kind of running across chilling and the mouse be like damn dude get it in yeah <laughs> shit be there chilling and stuff and then uh, you know go back home she can get her shit right. You know, she might not shower at his place because dude don't wash his tub. So she'll go home. She'll go home, shower real quick, wash everything up, and then be ready to make love to her husband. 
but all of it is just lust, lust, lust. And I'll tell y'all how to uh, do it. Like I said, you know, body game, that's just the first level. Develop your charisma, and that's just connecting with people. That's why I say you still got to connect. A lot of people focus on the uh, bait, and yeah, that's important, but then what y'all going to talk about? You got to be able to click. And then if you masculine, truly masculine, like a assertive, like women, women look for that guy who can like just take over. Because even in some of those cases, I'm gonna I'm be real though. I'm gonna be real. Nobody talks about this part because every time people talk about the female teacher and the student, something that's not talked about. Because you know she get in trouble, get in trouble with the law, and they be like, oh, she a predator and stuff. Man, sometimes that's not the case, man. Trust me on this. Sometimes she's not controlling like that. Just because she older don't mean she controlling. You know, because you got some younger dudes. They might have been exposed to sex at an early age or something. Seriously. They might have been exposed. They got, they actually, you know, and I always say they don't really have any game like that. But some of them might have some uh, game or at least know what to do. You know? They know what to do. They know how to pick up on it. And usually... It's usually a situation, because then this is especially a case if they're in, a, I'll say, lower income environments where they were exposed to sex one way or the other, even if it was just looking. They figured out, oh, okay, this old woman keep looking at me. Okay. Shit, okay, she interested. You know, you figure that shit out. So, actually, and I had always said, yeah, they don't really have game, but, you know, got to be just real with it. And some of some of those young guys might just know which buttons to push on the woman, because all they all it's a simple matter. They pick up that she has a sexual interest. However, they learned that it could have been myriad ways. They pick up she has a sexual interest. She's doing something sexual, and so all they had to do was just all they had to do was just ride it out. That's all they had to do. All they had to do is just ride it out. And figure it out. Just sit back and just be like, oh, okay, this is what I need to do. Seriously. That's all it is. That's all that's all, that's all it is. They just figure out what to do and then boom. Get this. You know? They can get this. So ain't always don't always look at the uh teacher. And somebody will say, Well, how can he really like seduce her now she doing her stuff she doing her stuff but man, you never know sometimes you never know cause you got some um, let's put it like this you got some dudes they just grew up early they don't know what it's like to have a child I know that from personal experience I stopped being a child at like six and a half so it is what it is but you know, but it's still that lust because that's what, and as they get older, and that's what the good bars do. They just pick up on a woman's lust, you know, and they'll play it because one of the things when women have that lust for a guy, it takes a lot for it to go away. It's up for him to blow it. And if he just know how to play it cool, all he had to do is play it cool, turn the game on his head. Because this is advanced stuff. All he doing is turn the game. So she might be trying to seduce him, run some game, but she he turned it on his head. And boom. You have it lined up. Because when women got that lust, <laughs> like I said, that shit don't go away. That shit don't go away. And a lot of guys gotta just understand, understand that. And understand it's just lust. And they ain't evil or something. Lust is why we here. That's it. it had to be enough lust for you to be conceived. Unless you're a child of rape. I'm serious. It had to be just enough lust for you to even be conceived. You know? You know? And that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. Shoot. And really, shoot, I can get into it even deeper. Is a big issue just overall with these relationships. Women really just want to be, they want to be free to have sex with who they want to be, have sex with. That's contributing to feminism and everything. 
They want to be free to have sex. You know, they don't want to be like in a position where they force to be with somebody. But, you know, it is what it is, y'all. But I got to make another stop. But anyway, though, it's just primal lust. I mean, stop trying to fight against it. Don't get mad. Just learn how to use it for your advantage. Because once you learn how to use it for your advantage, you, you always have something. Well, if you accept that they have it, don't get mad at them. Don't think something wrong with them. Just accept that they have it. Shit, you can always, shit, you can always get a woman. Shit. You can always get a woman. You can always get a pot of the pussy. Yeah, I said it like that. Oh, and like I said, if anybody don't like that, stay off the channel. Because I'm going to tell you something now. Let me just say something about that. Let me say something real quick. Sometimes... It got to be all sweetness and light and calm. Sometimes people, they're going to respond to you. You got to be rough with them. You know? If they if I'm helping somebody being rough, I'm going to keep doing it. And I get, I get testimonies every day. I get testimonies, donations. I don't even ask for donations every day. So every day, some donations, some testimony from somebody who's been helped by what I've, like, said. You know? I don't have time for it. I don't have time for some bullshit. People need some real help out of you, right? Man, this might park next to me. Yeah, this car didn't. His door swung his door out. Didn't hit mine. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, yo, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all tomorrow. I'll figure out something. I don't know. Yeah. Call Rom out.